What's up, guys? I'm back with another video. This time I wanted to show you guys that you can file for a business help or prior to tax return the same way that you would if you file as an individual. And you don't have to pay anything because you'll be paying from the refund. But filing as a sole proprietor will be a couple differences. You can put your EIN number instead of your social security number. To get an EIN number, all you have to do is go to the IRS website and you can get it in less than five minutes. Another difference is instead of only filing a W-2, you can also file a 1099. Right now, I'm in the process of figuring out how to get a tax refund by only filing a 1099. But for sure, once the video is done, the video will be posted. So you wanna do everything like normal. You just wanna put your basic information in here. Then you wanna put your first, middle, initial, and last name. And you wanna put your date of birth. People ask me a lot what to put inside the occupation. You could just put the job you work at, like if it's Subway, put Subway. If you're a sandwich artist, put sandwich artist. It don't matter, you could put Subway, sandwich artist. Or you could just put Subway, or you could just put sandwich artist. Or you could put all of it, it doesn't matter. And remember, right here on this part, instead of your social security number, you want to put your EIN number. But I'll just speed this part up. Okay, right here, as you can see, you can put a W-2 form, and you can also put self-employed or side hustle. Form 1099-NEC-K and an MISC. So you can click one or both of them, and then click continue. And I'll just fast forward this part too. As you can see, I'm pretty much putting anything just so I can show you guys this. As you can see, you still can fill out a W-2 as a sole proprietor because you still can be a W-2 employee. So right here is the W-2 and you'll just enter the information the exact same way as you would if you were an individual. And you'll still be able to get a refund doing it this way, but instead you use your EIN number. Also, if you're ever confused about percentages, all you have to do is put ridiculous amounts and it'll tell you exactly what amount you need for the year. So I'm pretty much putting 100,000 in every box and for the withheld, I'm putting 50,000. So like I said, I pretty much just put anything so I can show you guys. And now I'll go down to state and do the same thing. And remember, for state, it does matter what state you file for. Whatever state you choose will determine how much money you will get back for a state refund. But we'll put 50000 and then press continue. See, right here is telling you everything. You should have 6.2%. 6.2 of 100000 is $6,200. And then right here it says 1.45% you should have. That's 1450 so basically, it'll show you the percentage. You'll fill this tax form out the same exact way that you would if you file as an individual like my other tax videos. If you haven't seen them yet and this is your first one, I'll put the links down below for you. But once again, thanks to you guys and peace out.